I have a huge box of books, so I'm doing a book haul today. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a romance summer type of book haul. Summer is almost over, I know. I really wanted to read these books during summer, but I didn't get a chance to. Let's get right into this haul because it's kind of a lot. Okay, so the first three books that I have to the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy, and I have been meaning to read these books ever since I heard there was a series coming out. I didn't even know like these books were that popular, but I watched to show and I absolutely loved it and I'm team Jeremiah and everyone keeps saying that I'm gonna switch teams as soon as I read these books so I'm kind of excited to see how that plays out for me it's a cute little YA series and I've been really into YA series lately the next two books that I have are very very popular on booktop right now it's the summer of broken rules and every summer after these two books are literally the talk of summer booktop to be honest with you i don't even know what these books are about i just know that every book talker that i follow on booktok have read these books and they absolutely loved it they rated it like a five star so i trust their taste and i'm gonna give it a shot okay next we have where the crawdad sings and this is not really talked about on BookTok. I'm actually surprised because it is number one trending on Amazon Prime. That's that's why I got it. It seems very interesting. Um, it kind of takes place in the late 60s, I want to say. This was actually recommended to me. I'm very interested in reading this because it seems very different from the other types of books. I don't even know if this is like a summer vibe type of book. It has to be because it was like number one summer book or something like that i saw and yeah the cover is very pretty it seems very interesting there's also a movie that came out i think it just came out too okay so next we have better than the movies and this is also a cute little ya romance book i think this book talks about all of the most iconic movies like romance movies ever made i don't know if they recreate the scenes also i read mr wrong number by lynn painter and i loved her writing style so i thought i would get this book as you can see like on the front cover it's like like recreation of iconic movie moments like the notebook but yeah i'm really excited to read this one and find out more about these iconic movie moments recreation in this book it seems very interesting and it was also recommended to me i have another summer rom-com and this is hook line and sinker and this is the second book of it happened one summer this is like the spin-off of it happened one summer so it's about her sister and what's his name brendan's best friend i really wanted to read this book i heard it was very steamy yeah honestly i've been meaning to read this book since last year but i kind of just forgot about it and the next book that i got is the cheat sheet and i actually read this book already it was a very cute little rom-com i loved it it's definitely ya for sure there's nothing descriptive in this book and i think that's kind of like one of the reasons why i really enjoyed it more but i loved it it's friends to lovers and it's two best friends who are in love with each other it's chaotic but it, it's cute i loved it the main character is a little bit whiny and super bubbly you might think she's kind of like a pick me girl like most people kind of reviewed her as a pick me girl um i i i don't know what to say i truly enjoyed it and i liked it and um it was funny i love their friends their friends are even funnier so i think that's why i really enjoyed it a lot because of the friendship that's in this book read it if you want a good laugh because it was really funny okay next i got a poetry book so the sun on her flowers and this book has been all over my pinterest i just really needed to own this book because it is so aesthetically pleasing i love poetry i've been really into poetry lately and i could read poetry forever and ever and ever i could finish this book in like less than an hour this book that i got is am i allergic to men now 
I literally bought this book because of the title. I have no idea what this book is about. I didn't even read the summary of this. I just thought it was so funny and like so me. I just have to have it. I don't know. This seems very funny. I think it's giving very um, enemies to lovers type of vibe here. I think I'm very excited for this one the most, to be honest. Okay, the book that I have been waiting for forever and ever that I'm currently reading is Twisted Lies. This is the final book in a Twisted series and I am... I'm very sad. I'm very sad that this is the end of the series. This is such a good series and I loved every single book. I think the first book I gave a four star because I didn't quite enjoy it as much. Um, but I love the couple, I love the characters. <sighs> they feel like family to me, honestly. Especially when it's like a series like this and everyone's friends are related somehow. Um, you get so attached. So this is Stella's and Christian's book. And can I just say that I have never felt more related to a character than I do with Stella. I think this is like the second book character that I actually relate to because I... <sighs> we have so much in common. Like it's scary how much we have in common. I actually relate to Stella and I love her and she's a fashion influencer as well. So there's that. If you have been following me on my book talk, you know I despised Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. Hated that book. That book made me disgusted. Like just hate it but everyone keeps attacking me to finish the series because it gets so much better so i bought hideaway which is the second book in the series and this is kai's book so i think i might enjoy it more than i did the first one because i actually ended up liking kai more at the end of corrupt than any of the other boys i think i might like this one and plus i've seen a lot of tiktok edits of bangs which is the main girl in this book and she's a baddie so i think i might like her i'm kind of scared for this book but i really do want to finish the series and i kind of want to do a reading vlog of it Next, i got a book that i swore i would never ever ever read but so many of y'all bullied me on my bookstagram to get it so it kind of convinced me and here i am so I bought Verity by Colleen Hoover and this was the only book that I swear I was never ever going to read because it is creepy as heck. I did not know what this book was about until I read the summary just the other day and it doesn't seem that bad but from what everyone is like reacting to and basically saying about this book, it's, it's giving me like second thoughts about reading it. A lot of people said that it was very spooky um, I shouldn't read it at night. I wasn't planning on reading it at night. So we have that. And I also want to do a reading vlog on this book because I just feel like it'll be funny because I get scared easily and reading about something spooky might just be the funniest thing ever on camera. So we'll see. Um, I will not be reading this book at night for sure. We'll see how this goes. That will be the last book I read of the year. I actually got a PR package from Entangled Teen and they sent me The Liar's Crown. This seems very interesting because I think it's like arranged marriage. It came with like artwork and stuff like that and also this cute little mirror which I thought was absolutely cute. Look at it. It's so pretty. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much gonna be the books that I'll be reading for the rest of the year. I've read 51 books so far and I have four months to read 49 more books. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!